Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this cool text effect in Blender using the text effects add-on. After installing the text effects add-on you can find it in the tools panel by pressing N, text effects. First let me delete the default cube, X, and select a nice font. and add our cool text. As you can notice that the add-on added two objects to the scene. Our text and a cone shape. So we will use this cone shape to control the initial state of our text. So whenever I move this cone it determines the start location of the text. So let me see. And move it again. Cool. Now I'll move it here. And we notice that the animation only starts at frame 20. So I want to change this to frame 1 from here and let me see, cool. Now I want to change the duration of this animation to 12 frames instead of 25. I think it should look faster now. And I now I can control uh, the delay of each individual individual uh, character by changing the offset lock. So let's change it to ten to be able to see the difference. But it's too slow, so I'm changing it back to three. The add-on supports up to 36 animation interpolation methods. One of the interesting ones is back out. Here it is. This one allows you to overshoot the animation of each individual character. So let us try it, change this value to 2. And as you can see, here, this character overshoots this uh, displacement from its final location. So we can increase this by changing it to a higher value, let us, let us say 10, and see, yeah, so you can see the C letter overshoot all this distance. So let me change it back to 1. And we can add some wiggle animation by enabling this button and changing the values of the frequency, amplitude, and probability. Now I want to make my animation more dynamic by adding both rotation and scale effects to the movement. So let me change the rotation of the cone a little bit and scale it a little bit. And let's see how it looks like now. And we notice that the both the scale and, and, and rotation animations are delayed because they start uh, by default at frame 20. So I can either change it from here directly to frame 1 or I can go to the lock tab and hit align 
which will make all the animation align together at the same timing and let's see it's much better now and we can make the rotation and the scale more interesting by delaying them a couple of frames after the location so make this like two or three frames and this four frames and let's see how it looks like much better and now I can improve the characters lock by giving them some depth and bevel from the appearance geometry uh, that did extrude a little bit an update to see the change and some bevel let's decrease it a bit let it be 0.01 yeah much better now and now I'm satisfied with the outcome let me make a final test okay so I think I'm now ready to bake the animation and let's change the whole render duration to finish here uh, it's frame 150 and press bake text and let's see and now our animation on is ready for rendering and this is how the final result looks like after changing the camera angle and assigning a material to the text I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and feel free to ask any questions in the comments and see you later. Bye.